here to talk about how parents can recognize it and help their child if they believe they're in this situation is Dr. Cindy Bereda Shore from the San Diego Center for Children. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. This is a really important topic. But for, for people who aren't too familiar, and I know there are some misconceptions out there, define what bullying is. Yeah, that's a good question because not everything is bullying. Um, bullying is intentional, repeated, aggressive behavior that involves a power differential. So somebody has more power than the other person. So this is not when two kids in high school don't like each other and they're kind of picking on each other. This is Right, it's not normal. You know, kids aren't going to always get along. They're going to lose friendships. They're going to have arguments. This is intentional, repeated, and includes a power differential where it really has, it puts the other person at risk. So when do we typically start to see bullying as, as a, a factor in our child's yeah. life? It really can happen at any point um, in you know, their, their education. We can see it you know, in kindergarten all the way through high school, and, um, but it really tends to peak sometimes uh, in middle school. Middle school, yeah. yeah. So how do we recognize maybe perhaps the symptoms that our child may be being bullied and perhaps isn't talking about it? How do we yeah. recognize it? Yeah, that's a really good question um, because kids are really reluctant oftentimes to talk to us, mm -hmm. but what we want to look for are changes. Uh, changes in the way that they've typically been behaving, if they have injuries that are really unexplainable. If items go missing, you know, expensive items, sometimes those, uh, those can go missing. If you're seeing changes in appetite, if they're coming home really hungry because they're skipping out on lunch, um, and if you're noticing that they're changing friend groups, if they're starting to isolate, if they feel hopeless, and you're, cha and you're noticing changes in, in mood or behavior, those might be some signs that something's going on. So how do you bring it up with your child? How do you address yeah, it? Yeah, that's a really good question. And ideally, uh, you would address it just before anything is concerning. Um, so you want to have conversations about what's going on in school, what are social relationships like. With little kids, I'm going to start to define what bullying is. I'm going to show them some videos and talk about the vocabulary, what is a bully, and also teach them, you know, what's their role? How do they promote kindness and respect uh, to their peers and everybody at school? Um, and then teach them how they can interact when um, they see something that they don't like happening, how they can uh, ask help for a teacher. And when they're older, I'm going to start to have more of a frank conversation with them. I want to know, hey, how are things going at school? How are kids getting along? You know, what are you seeing? And start to have those um, just daily conversations with kids. And there's lots of good apps that can help parents start conversations. Right. There's so much information yeah. out there. If you think perhaps something is going on, you're not able to get that information out of your, your child, at what point do you start talking to teachers and principals and getting others involved? I would say from the very beginning. I think prevention is the best strategy and it really takes a village to uh, tackle bullying. And so I would you know, want to know what type of socialization program is the school implementing? How do they teach these values? What expectations do they set? Um, and what curriculum are they following? I, sometimes schools have safety committees where kids are involved and parents are involved where they kind of monitor just the overall culture of a school. Um, so from the very beginning, I'd, I'd start to get involved. And then anytime I hear something or I suspect somebody, I'd reach out. If, I, if, if there's something that doesn't sit well with me and, I, and, I, uh, and I'm uncomfortable, I'd probably ask a teacher or I'd just check in to see how things are going, get a second opinion. You know, back in the day, you used to hear parents and dads and movies would always, you know, teach the kid to stand up to the bully, meet aggression with yeah. aggression. Is that the same mentality that we're, we're no, teaching our kids now? No, that's often not effective, and it's setting up the individual who's being bullied to be victimized again. Really what we want to do is we want to take this report seriously and we want to intervene as adults. We want to make sure that we address it, that we're responsible and that we're monitoring and overseeing. Um, and we want to use interventions that are systemic across the entire community, that we're engaging bystanders, that we're teaching kids to respond when they see somebody else being targeted, that they know how to recognize it, that we're not putting the responsibility on the individual who's experiencing that right. to solve those so issues. So teaching, teaching others to be a, a good Samaritan, yes. a good friend, yeah. even to, to a stranger, another classmate, right. if they see something they know is wrong, to say something. Right. I mean, that's the big message now. You see something, say something on so many different platforms. And it tends to be the most effective strategy at reducing bullying behavior. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, so much information. I know we could talk a long time about yeah. this, but uh, what resources are out there for parents uh, here in San Diego if they have questions? Yeah. Sure. There's lots of apps. Uh, you know, StopBullying.gov is a great app that provides lots of resources, a website that provides lots of resources. There's uh, um, lots of different apps that can promote bullying. San Diego Center for Children is always there to provide mental health support if parents have any questions. Well, Dr. Yeah. Cindy Britta, sure. I appreciate you being here this morning. Certainly a, a, an important topic. Thanks.